Hello, I'm Sophie D'Souza and welcome to my channel, Sophie Stained Glass, a channel dedicated to expanding the knowledge base in the architectural glass world. Um, so please do check out the other videos, there's lots of them, and you might find something useful. Um, I'm going to do a video today about how I set about cutting a window in terms of I have a sheet of glass, I have my design, how do I get the most out of my sheet of glass in terms of the shapes I've got to cut? Um, how do I place it on my design? How do I go about each individual cut? Which cuts do I make first? Um, basically my, my method of working. So I hope you will find this interesting. Um, and uh, just let me know if you've got any questions. It's quite important to consider where you're going to cut first um, because you don't want to run out of glass. S so if you look at this design, these are the bigger pieces and these are the smaller pieces. So you start with the bigger pieces uh, because you can get smaller pieces out of your off cuts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start tracing some of my lines and numbering them as I go. And I, I, these will need changing somewhat later on. This is how I start with a piece like this where a lot of the pieces flow into each other, so if I'm clever, I can cut this sheet in a way that they all start to also flow on in the sheet. And the reason I'm drawing these in is because I need to really consider each cut before I make it. I'm just going to take this off so it's an easy angle to cut. Now, just want to be able to relate this curve to my design once I've done my cutting. The first cut I'm going to make is this one and it's going to go like this. So this indicates the side of the line I'm going to cut. Then I will probably do this one. Hmm. Or maybe I'll do, let's think about this. Could do this one. Yeah, let's get rid of these labels. They're always in the wrong place. So, we're going off here. We're going to go under here. And off to here. So these are the first cuts I'm going to make. And like I say, I want to be able to relate my off cuts to where they are going to fit in. I may not be able to get, like I won't be able to, probably won't be able to get 36, but it doesn't matter, I just want it written on there. Um, so this is going to be line, the first line, and this is going to be the second line. Now that's too tight, so we've got to get, oh there's a piece of glass there, we've 
You've got to get the angle of your approach right so you can do, do it easily in one go. Quite a long cut, so I'm not very happy with this bit of it, but I want it to open up slightly to help. Oh, yeah, it's gone because I couldn't quite reach over there, but that's okay. That's why we buy extra. going to do this one now. There we are. Now I think I might try opening it up with my Sort of forgotten the word. You're going to listen for a little tick. There, did you hear that? Now I'm going to open up the other side. There, it hasn't run along, so I'll go a bit further. Okay, I can see it's slightly opening, so I'm going to start pulling at it now. There. Beautiful. So we like that. Now all these uh, numbers and arrows are going to help me placing... Now what I'm going to do, let's get rid of some of these, so we don't get too confused. Okay, now I think the next piece I will take from this, let's get, get it properly lined up. I think we're going to do this line and then we're going to do this line. And these arrows mean I don't accidentally cut on the wrong side of my line. Okay, because I've drawn everything in I can of course just Move it to cut it. So that's that. I wouldn't normally do this over my pattern because it sprinkles glass like confetti but I just wanted you to be able to see uh, what I was doing. Um, let's 
And there it is, number 29. Put it on there. So, oh, no. <laughs> sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. So let's just brush the surface. going to do this in two goes and again I wouldn't normally nibble over my pattern but that is for your benefit at home there we are so that's now going to go on my other copy of my pattern and we will come to this piece now the thing to remember is that you're going to have a discrepancy because um, of the sign of the side of the line you have uh, cut on is different uh, to the side you now want to cut on. So I'm just going to see what's the best way. So that's quite a nice fit actually. Don't mind that at all. Shifted it over a little. Just checking the oil's running nicely in this. Because it's not feeling like it's cutting very well. And actually, no, I'm not getting any nice oil out of it, which is ex explains why that first sheet broke. Let's put this right. see what's going on. Yeah, it's amazing how quickly, whoops, it's amazing how quickly you run out of oil. I suppose I do a lot of cutting. This is Singer Super Oil for your drill, sewing machine, bike, typewriter, car and gun. How convenient. We'll do a bit of sewing and we'll go out and kill a moose. There we are. Oh, I'll just drop the little rubber thing. Never mind. Yeah, it felt like it wasn't going very well. Let's see if I can get some oil out of this now. Yeah, you see that? That's oil. I think. Yeah, there it is. Okay, right. We should do better now. Pressed a bit hard there in the corner. Trying to get it started. There it is. I was looking for. A little bit here that needs nibbling. Oh, you see this now is feeling nice and oily, this um, glass. We've got this piece that was left over. Now we've got 36, so you can see why I've written on them because it's just making it that much easier to identify where this intended place is. Because this is slightly thin, this end. I decided not to do it in one go, but to be honest, it probably would have been fine. I just chickened out. There we go, 36. Now I'm leaving these little ones because they'll just come out of all the off cuts. You remember this piece? 
Here it is again. And I'm just going to remove this because that's no good to anyone. There's number 31. So we've now got number 46. This will probably be the most economical way to cut this. Now we just have the um, small pieces to go, and that's where these offcuts might do the trick. So I hope that was helpful in some way. Um, I I'm not saying this is the the way to do it; just that this is the way I do it, and I probably do it slightly differently with every job. So. But this will give you, you know, one approach. Um, so I uh, hope it was helpful and uh, thank you for watching and please like, comment and subscribe.